Listen, I try my best to be a good little representative of the left, and you know, I try to avoid talking about getting people fired and cancel culture because I genuinely, like, that's not the person who I am. But I've got to ask, in spite of that, in spite of everything I just said, why does Chris Matthews still have a job at MSNBC? He's so stupid that he brings down the entire network. And look, I'm not going to pretend like I'm satisfied with the current trajectory that MSNBC is on. But I mean, everyone else is here and Chris Matthews is down here. That's how bad it is. Like, he's so bad. He is the Janine Pirro of MSNBC. He's an embarrassment. He's genuinely, I think, stupid. And just when I thought he couldn't get any dumber, he manages to surprise me and lower the bar even further. So it's funny because, you know, Ben Shapiro responded to this charge from the left that Bloomberg is trying to buy this election by tweeting, OMG, Bloomberg is buying the election. Say people whose chief candidates want to hand people healthcare, college educations, and housing they're not paying for. Now, this is a pretty standard right-wing talking point. They call social safety net programs vote buying. It's stupid. It's, it's disingenuous. Um, we're paying taxes. So what we're saying is we want those tax dollars to benefit us and not the billionaires who fund... Ben Shapiro's program and the Daily Wire, right? So it's not vote buying, of course, but I mean, you expect that type of disingenuity from right-wing dipshits like um, Ben Shapiro, except I tweeted this out and was proven right so fast. This is genuinely one of the dumbest takes I've ever seen on this website, but still, how long until CNN and MSNBC pundits start saying this if it comes down to a two-way race between Bernie and Bloomberg? The answer is immediately. It doesn't even have to come down to a two-way race between Bloomberg and Bernie. Someone on MSNBC, Chris Matthews, is already saying that, using that same dumb argument that Ben Shapiro is using. I was proven right in a day, and I gave them like a month after Super Tuesday to start making this claim. But like that, see how quickly they use right-wing talking points to try to do, you know, uh, Anything in their power to stop a left-wing populist candidate? It's incredible. So Jordan Sheridan tweeted out, Chris Matthews with Nina Turner just said, Bernie Sanders is buying the election like Bloomberg. His rationale? Sanders proposing canceling student debt, free public college, is the same as Bloomberg spending $350 million on television ads. Oh, and then he plays dumb when Nina Turner explains how Mike Bloomberg is buying the election. <laughs> do you mean that he's buying votes like what are we talking about here is, is he literally paying people off oh my god i don't know what to say about this just watch but not buying the election just okay. flat out what senator sanders is doing chris is building a real grassroots movement having conversations with people what mayor bloomberg is doing is just sp spreading you mean buying using money to get votes he is. Is that what you're saying? Are you saying using money to get three hundred and fifty million dollars worth of ads, his own money? Okay, just to okay. Your we definition need, is we, buying an election using money to get votes. He is using. You know what I'm saying? Well, I know exactly what you you're know saying, what I'm Chris. Saying, yeah. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not going down that road. What I am saying is that he's not building a movement. He's not talking to the people. He's just throwing his money out there. But that's not going to to work. Okay. If I'm in college right now and I had student loans, they got me through college. If somebody came along and said. I'm going to pay off all your student loans and what else? And if you're going to a public university, I'm paying all your tuition. Is that buying votes? Now, when you say that Mike Bloomberg is buying the election, are you honestly telling me that he's paying people, what, $150 a pop to vote for him? Where's your evidence of that, Missy? I don't, I don't know what to say. Of course, that's not what we're saying. And the fact that you don't know that and that you're even feigning ignorance tells me that you can't you can't be on national television how many millions of people tune into chris matthews every single night if you tune in you're going to walk away dumber than when you first started watching and he's a news anchor news is supposed to inform voters like going into the voting booth you're supposed to know more theoretically if you watch the news you're supposed to be a more informed enlightened voter but how can you say that about someone who watches chris matthews 
who has the political analysis of a fucking eight-year-old. How can you say that? And he's saying that offering college is tantamount to buying votes, channeling Ben Shapiro, because that makes sense. See, it's not buying votes if you get elected and you give tax cuts to the rich, people like Chris Matthews, but it is buying votes if you do anything for the peasants. Do you see the logic here? Like, it honestly doesn't make sense to me why they keep someone on who's so genuinely idiotic. Like, and I'm not saying that to be petty and insult him. I'm saying I really believe he has a low IQ. No, I don't believe it. I know it. Listen to him. Watch his show for like an hour. Don't. But if you did, you'd see how fucking stupid this guy is. Like, his brain is melting out of his ears, and you can put him on Fox News, and he'd still be one of the dumbest people on Fox News. Like, that's how bad it is. That's how low the bar is set by Chris Matthews, who literally believes that if Bernie's elected, there's going to be executions in Central Park. Like, how stupid do you have to be to believe that? I hate Donald Trump with every fiber of my being. Did I believe that there would be executions in Central Park with Donald Trump? No. There's executions abroad with regard to militarism, right? He's locking babies in cages. But there was no indication that we'd start killing Americans in the streets of America if Donald Trump were elected president. Like, if you become so hyperbolic, people take you less seriously. And the fact that this moron is on MSNBC five days a week, it's just so bad for democracy. Like, MSNBC is a cancer in our society. And that's not to say that Fox News is any better, because I think they're objectively worse. But in terms of just this election cycle and how unfair all of these cable news networks are to bernie sanders i mean objectively speaking fox news has been more fair to bernie sanders objectively speaking msnbc has been the worst excluding chris hayes maybe i just i don't understand how someone who embarrasses the network like that is allowed to stay on air i would not allow him to produce a video and upload it on the Humanist Report YouTube channel. That's how much of a danger I think he is. Because if you're not informing people, then you shouldn't talk about politics. And I'm not talking about you need to give everyone a history lesson in every single video. I mean, like, if you just are at least minimally competent, you have even a minimal amount of insight to offer, that's better than what Chris Matthews is offering. I'd like to think that Americans are smarter than that, but how many people watch... Chris Matthews, and they're persuaded by his dumb arguments. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. So this is genuinely embarrassing, and you'd think that he'd become a little bit more self-aware because he keeps finding himself in hot water. People keep making fun of him. Like, Michael Moore was on and made fun of him about that Central Park execution comment, and he kind of laughed it off, but I mean, then do better. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. Do better. Stop saying things that are so stupid. Like, it doesn't make sense to me that you keep saying this. Like, if I put my foot in my mouth in a video, I'm being extra cautious for at least a couple of months. And we've all done it before. We're all human beings, right? Nobody's perfect. But what I'm saying is, like, if you say something that is really just laughably stupid, like, watch it. Just try to do better. But, I mean, he can't help himself. He's so stupid that just a week later after making his Central Park execution comment, and now he's saying that Bernie's trying to buy the election and he's playing dumb when we talk about how Mike Bloomberg is trying to buy the election. Politics can be so exhausting sometimes. It really can be. And um, I anticipated this with the 2020 election, but no matter how much you try to anticipate just how tiresome this is going to be, it's always 10 times worse than you expected. Beta male.